Hi, welcome to Llama Lands. Here in my home, near Walden Pond in Massachusetts, Concord, Massachusetts. Today I want to talk about the subject of my upcoming weekend in Pittsburgh called The Big Questions. How we can find our own answers to life's essential mysteries. It's based on my recent book of that title. Talking about the evergreen questions that people have addressed and wondered about, discussed, sought answers to, and found answers to also to some extent for millennia. The evergreen questions like, why are we here? Where do we come from? Where are we going? Is there a God? And if so, of what kind? Why do bad things happen to good people? Who am I? The question of identity. And the self-inquiry, and even Socratic dialogue or way of finding out who we really are, how we fit in. Why am I here? How shall I live? How should we live and make a better world together? Life's big questions. What is happiness? And where is my happiness and fulfillment to be found? What is love? And how can I get some? The age-old question. These are things that people throughout the ages have struggled with, from Socrates in olden times exhorting us to know thyself, the root of Western philosophy, to Buddha's great quest to find out why do we suffer, and what is the cause, and is there a way beyond suffering and confusion, the way that he discovered being enlightenment, enlightened wisdom through meditation, introspection, and unconditional loving actions, generosity to others. So I'm going to be talking this weekend about how to live into these questions, not just find an easy answer, settle for an easy cliche answer, but how to live the questions as the poet Rilke said. How to live in a more thoughtful and reflective way. How to inquire, honest self-inquiry. How to be more honest with ourselves. How to undo the tangled web of delusion and illusion and also deceiving ourselves that so many of us are caught in so much of the time, so much of the time, individually and collectively. Because these are the big questions of life. These are the questions that looking into can pr pr bring incredible, fruitful levels of knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge to know the world, to know others, and wisdom to know oneself and who and what we really are. Over the years I've been working on these myself, almost 40 years, it's hard to believe, since I began, since I was in college, since I went to India in 1971, and I lived there in the 70s and 80s, and studied and served the great gurus of the time in India and the Himalayas. And through my own meditation and contemplation and dialogue with others, introducing also new subjects like relational mindfulness, not just mindfulness of breathing or of our body and sensations, but to be more aware, better listeners, more in tune with others, have an eye-thou, peer, heart-to-heart, eye-to-eye relationship with others, not just see others as objects. What can I get from him or her? What will they do for me? So we can go beyond the incredible selfishness and narcissism and materialism that plagues our society and our world. So we can find our true heart and come from the heart and connect with others. Because we're all in the same boat, we all rise or fall, sink or swim together so that we can become better people and contribute to a better, safer, and saner world for our children and for the future generations, for those to come. Thank you.